Thousands of fans are expected to be back in the Deer District tomorrow night for another huge watch party as the Bucks try to clinch a trip to the NBA Finals. Fans obviously excited that the Bucks are now up three games to two against the Atlanta Hawks in the Eastern Conference Finals. Katie Crowther is live in the Deer District with a look at how the Bucks and the police are preparing. Katie? Yeah, Ryan, we don't want to take anything away from the Bucks, their fans, or the Deer District. The huge celebrations and watch parties that have been happening down here have been predominantly positive and unifying for the city of Milwaukee. However, last night, while we were here for Game 5, we did record on this fight that happened right on the plaza outside Pfizer Forum, not far from where the main big screen is to watch the game. Also, one of our crews witnessed police taking a man into custody during the game. I shared these videos with Milwaukee police who say, quote, during the last two weeks, there has only been one arrest in regards to the Deer District watch parties. The arrested individual was cited for disorderly conduct and obstructing. However, there have been several ejections throughout the playoffs. The Bucks and Milwaukee police have had a strong security presence out here for the watch parties. I have reached out to city leaders and will be reaching out to Bucks management about anything they'll be doing differently tomorrow. And police do confirm the people involved in that fight we just showed you were ejected from the Deer District last night. There was also a fight, police say, near 3rd and Highland after the game. In that case, one person was cited for disorderly conduct. Again, considering the size and scope of these watch parties, though, there's really been no major problems. But keeping things in check. We just don't want the bad behavior of a few to ruin these kinds of events for everyone. Reporting live from the Deer District, Katie Crowther, TMJ4 News.